Hi, welcome back to my kitchen. I'm Mary Louisa. Okay, <laughs> we are going to have pizza night at our house. So I'm gonna make my own pizza dough. So, easy peasy recipe to put together. Okay, what we need is one and three quarter cups of warm water. So what I did was I just took water from the tap. That's it, okay? So one and a third cups of warm water. Then we're gonna take two teaspoons, two and a quarter teaspoons of the um, Red Star Active Yeast, dry yeast. And I'm gonna put that, so two, and a quarter teaspoons, okay, of the yeast in the water. Then I'm gonna add uh, one teaspoon of sugar. One teaspoon of sugar. Okay, I'm gonna stir that up. And I'm gonna let it sit for about five minutes and just to get it activated. Okay, so I'm gonna cover this all nicely stirred up. I'm gonna cover this with my clean paper towel, tea towel, and I'm gonna let it sit for five minutes. Okay, so now my, my yeast is activated. Okay, all bubbling over the top. I'm gonna put that into my bowl for my blender. Okay, I'm gonna add my flour, which is three and a half cups of flour. Leveled cups, okay? Oh. So we're gonna put three and a half leveled cups. That's three. To this, we're going to add one tablespoon, sorry, one teaspoon, one teaspoon of salt, okay, and we're going to add two tablespoons of olive oil. So recap, the warm water for the yeast and the sugar. Let it sit for five minutes to activate it. Once it's activated, you put it in your mixer. You add in three cups, three and a half cups of flour, one uh, teaspoon, or sorry, yeah, one teaspoon of salt and two tablespoons of oil, done. We're gonna put that here in the blender and let the machine do the rest. I usually let it uh, go on like a medium low for about a minute and then I put it up to uh, medium for a couple of minutes. Three, four minutes depending sometimes it yeah three four minutes is good in the meantime what we're gonna do okay with another minute and a half 
Beautiful. In the meantime, what we're going to do is we're going to get our bowl ready. So, in my bowl, I'm going to put a little bit of oil. Like that. Look at that dough. Look at that. Beautiful. Just beautiful. Doesn't even stick to my machine. That's how I know that that dough is going to be amazing. Beautiful. So, what I usually do now is I knead it in here. Just, I, I just turn it a couple of times. Okay. Now I'm going to put this in my bowl with the oil. Okay. <laughs> it's not sticking to the, the pan, but it's sticking to my hands a little bit. Okay, just a little bit more oil. That's it. Oh. Okay, I'm just going to let this sit now for about an hour and a half, two hours, for it to rise. And that's it. Pizza dough is ready. See you in a bit. <laughs> we gotta play some tarandellas to go with the pizza. The pizza making company. <laughs> Okay, the sauce is the only thing that I don't use my hands for, is to spread the sauce on my pizza, I always use my spoon, and that's it. Now comes your hands. Okay, so we're gonna put just a little, little bit of the mozzarella, just a little bit. Because what I like to do is dress up my pizza and then put 
more mozzarella on top. So we're gonna make this one a meat lovers with some hot salami. You know, you can put whatever you have. Whatever topping actually that you want to put, you could. Uh, traditionally, the traditional Italian would be uh, with your pepperoni, hot salami, whatever you like. Nowadays, you could even put pieces of chicken. I'm not a fan. I like more of a traditional, traditional toppings. This is one is gonna be loaded. Loaded, loaded, loaded pizza. Okay, ah, throw some onion on there too. Told you, this is loaded. Okay. Okay, this is gonna go in the oven now at 500. It's probably gonna be in there for about a good 15 minutes. At the 15 minute mark, check your pizza. Check to see what uh, how the bottom is, is doing. If it's uh, brown enough for you, crusty enough for you, it's fine. Okay, enjoy. That's it. Beautiful. I hope you make the pizzas really easy to make. You just, what I like to do is I make the dough first thing in the morning and I leave it, I let it sit for the day. At night when I'm ready to cook the pizzas, when I'm ready uh, to prepare them, I spread them out and uh, that's it, dinner ready. Okay, first one is ready to go. Okay, this is the uh, the meat lovers one. Okay, it looks really good. Let me give you a quick look at the crust. Look at that, beautiful. Okay. These are my kitchen, kitchen scissors. Just want to let you see, oh, a little bit hot. Look at that beautiful crust. Okay, beautiful. Pizza night at our house. I can't leave you guys hanging without a taste tester, okay? Even though I've already had a slice, I couldn't wait. Okay, just to let you know, it is to die for. The bottom, so crunchy, beautiful, because I put the uh, cornmeal on the pan. To die for, hmm. Okay, this guy knows what he's doing. Oh my God. Yeah. Hot oil, baby. I just remembered Look that's at that. beautiful. Oh, yeah. Thin crust pizza. Bon appetito. Favorisci con noi.
beautiful. 